Bill, you have several key guys that are headed toward free agency. Uh, I mean, notably, DeGrom, Nimmo, Edwin Diaz. Do you pri prioritize them in any way? Like that there's one you put ahead of the others, or how, how do you look at that? We'll have conversations with all three. Um, you know, it's it's a it's not like a two way street. It's a multi you know party uh, endeavor now, um, and so I'll get a sense of um, understanding their expectations, and they'll get a sense of understanding ours, and, and we'll see if something can can be executed. But it's talking to all three. It's not it's not prioritizing one versus the other. Could you see yourself trying to get ahead on any of them before they get to free agency and, and trying to get a deal done? I wouldn't say. You mentioned Steve's willingness to support financially. Has he given you an idea of where you're allowed to go payroll-wise for 2023? Pretty close. Where's, where's that? <laughs> Wouldn't say. Yeah. Is it a – could you do it in a ballpark way? Because, I mean, this year was uh, I'm not, the highest ever, I think. It's those are those are numbers I don't really disclose or talk about, and I'm I keep them very guarded, um, you know. So um, yeah, I wouldn't really say. Sorry, uh, Billy. You know, last November before you were hired, Sandy Alderson said whoever they did hire would have a year runway sure. to kind of demonstrate what they could do. Now that we are just about that year later, have you received any assurances from from upstairs that you know you have full autonomy that this baseball winner? Yeah, I mean, I had a number of conversations with with Steve, um, and uh, yeah, he's uh, you know given me that uh, you know that that nod to to continue to make decisions, um, you know, spitball with him on ideas, which we were even last night uh, via text, um, and so um, so yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Walker is a player option. Uh, Bassett is a mutual option and Carrasco as a team option. Can you say, are you ready to say if you will pick up Carrasco's, the team option and the team option part of Bassett's? Yeah, um, wouldn't say right now. Um, those are still discussions that we're going to have to have internally. Um, and, uh, you know, probably similar to a lot of things. I think it, you, things get closer to the deadline, you know, and so the deadline on those decisions uh, isn't Imminent, so um, it's after the World Series, so probably really uh, give a give a better sense of it at that time. Just if I could follow up then with that, is getting a little younger in the rotation something that would be potentially important to you going into this off season? And if so, is that I mean, how realistic is that with where you guys? I wouldn't say it's a you know a, a goal or a standalone goal. Um, you know, age factors into our you know, forecasts and, and how we, you know, our scouting reports and, and how we're, you know, looking at players. If I'm going to, you know, chat with our scouting department, you know, age is something that's brought up, but so are tools and so are the usability of those tools. And um, so it's a factor, but it's not, you know, the sole factor. Right. Two more. Uh, Tim. Along those lines with rotation, potentially having up to four free agents, the bullpen similarly having a ton of free agents. What is the challenge of building a pitching staff, not from scratch, but kind of close to it potentially? You know, you're, uh, you're going to, you know, kind of test the, um, you know, test what, what you have internally. Um, you know, we saw McGill and Peterson uh, take some steps forward and some of the younger relievers, you know, come onto the scene. Um, probably going to lend itself to more runway for that group. Um, and then you know, continue to look into free agency and the trade market to supplement that. You know, we're, I think it's pretty safe to say we're going to have to hit the hit the market to fill that out because um, it's it can't be filled out entirely from internal candidates. So um, it's going to be a you know a, a big point of focus. Would you be comfortable penciling in Peterson and McGill both into the rotation for next year? I wouldn't say right now. Just have to see what other opportunities exist. 